안녕하세요. 제 이름은 나미입니다. Hi, it's Nami, and today I'm going to be doing my shadow root. But this video is in black and white because it is our baby gender reveal video. I'm actually really excited to tell you the baby's gender somewhere through this video. So you'll have to watch this video to find out the baby's gender because the majority of this video will be in black and white. But I am going to do my shadow root today because my roots are growing quite a bit. I think it's been two or three months since I last bleached it because when I did bleach my roots when I was a month and something pregnant, I didn't actually know that I was pregnant. So um, that was the last time I bleached my roots and from then I decided not to bleach my roots just because my body does um, suffer when I bleach my roots. <laughs> For example, it takes me like a long time to do my roots, like three hours and I'm standing and I'm focusing and I'm tired and I do it myself so it's not just sitting getting it done. I also experience like an increase in infections when I do do my roots because my scalp does take time to recover and so during that time the rest of my body is compromised. However, I did read somewhere that some countries don't allow you to bleach or dye your hair during pregnancy but I did read that none of the chemicals ever do reach the baby because it's such a small amount. Um, the reason why physicians may advise you against bleaching or dyeing your hair while you're pregnant is for the mother's health, just if it's like exhausting for the mom or if the fumes would affect her morning sickness and things like that. However, feel free to do some research on Google as well because there's a lot of resources that I found about bleaching and dyeing your hair during pregnancy. I really like how my hair looks right now. I really like it. I feel like my roots are growing quite gracefully as well. It doesn't look like such a harsh line, but it kind of does. So I do want to kind of fade down the black a bit with my black semi-permanent from Ion. So semi-permanents do not contain harsh chemicals, including ammonia or bleach. They don't do any kind of lifting at all. They just kind of act as a tint to coat the hair on the outside rather than changing the structure of the hair or opening the cuticles at all. To insert color, it's just a coating of color. So yes, there is no peroxide or ammonia in this cream. It's supposed to fade and wash out for 10 or 15 shampoos, but in my haul video, a lot of you mentioned that the Ion dark colors do stain, which will be a benefit for me because I don't know if I would want my shadow root to fade because then I'd have to do it again. But it does say here that I am supposed to wash my hair first, shampoo my hair, and then apply. Oh my gosh, it looks so crazy outside of the ponytail. <gasps> Just to make sure that I'm not breaking any unnecessary hair that doesn't need to be broken. I'm going to detangle my hair first. <laughs> and I am using a bamboo brush because this does help distribute oils throughout the length of your hair, recommended by you. <laughs> I'll have a link to a bamboo brush in the description if you're interested. I'm using Marc Anthony Grow Long Strengthening Shampoo. I've never done a black and white video. I really wonder how this is going to turn out. I'm going to apply some of my Olaplex number no. 2 that I've put into this bottle here because my Olaplex number no. 2 is the big, huge 2000 milliliter back bar size, which I got off Amazon. I'll have a link down below. It's like my staple hair recovery product. Apply a little bit of this to my ends because I didn't condition my hair. I have two combs I'm gonna try to use to do my shadow root. It's gonna be a really simple shadow root. I'm not using a brush, I'm just gonna use combs. I think it helps that I do have this huge root already, so I have like area that I can drag out the color from. I'm just gonna split my hair smack in the middle. I'm doing a tube. Intensive shine! Black Noir. 
I'm gonna grab like two inches of a section. So I'm gonna grab this whole like underneath this whole block area because I feel like it'll be faster. I guess I'll just place the color on here and then drag it down. I've never done this before, so. I'm scared. Ooh, that does not look good. And I do not have gloves again. Oh no. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. Bam. Oh, my bad. I think. Not, not bad, right? blotchy ah! fade it down 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 go down go down oh it's kind of working but there's like black splotches here can you see that black splotches <gasps> the splotches are coming all the way down here no Okay, that's that's better. Do you see my technique there? Ooh, girl, get on this level. <laughs> no, I shouldn't go all the way down because then the black will go all the way down. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is not panning well. <sighs> what did I get myself into? What did I do? Maybe this is better. This looks like a shadow root, right? And then this looks like. A root, you know what I mean? Like line of demarcation. You know what I mean? Like at least it's kind of like a shadow, right? Okay, well I, I have a strategy now, so let's just attempt to move on to the next section. Boom. That's why the blushes. It's cause I Ooh, maybe this is better. Just exhaust it all at the top and then fade it down. You know what I mean? If I like try to swoop it off, then it makes these these little blotches there. Can you see that? Okay, I should start here and then slowly move it down until it kind of fades. Oh my gosh, this is the easiest shadow root in the world. And then and then after it kind of fades out, then you lift it at the top. Oh, but kind of, I kind of made a blotch there. Be careful, blotches. A little bit. <laughs> I really don't know. What could also help, I think, is like cutting up the lines. You see how it's like a dotted, a dashed line instead of like a solid line like I was doing before. A little bit. Mm hmm and as I go down, I'm gonna lift my comb a bit out of my hair so that it's not really... Oh my gosh, not bad, right? Look at that. Not bad. It, it actually looks like a balayage, like a mini balayage. Oh, not bad. Not bad, right guys? Right? Please, please tell me it's not bad. Mm -hmm. I gotta clean this up. Does it look like, does it look mm -hmm. faded? You know what I mean? 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 It looks like a washed out like billboard. Oh, don't touch it yet. I have to wait 15 minutes. Okay. There are some blotches, but. Natural, but dingy. There's like blotches. Dingy, great. Cool. Kinda. That's probably from the blotches. <clears throat> a lot of blotching at the back, actually. <gasps> You get black like all the way down here. What? Nice black going down over here when it actually should be up there. Okay, but like, is it like black out of nowhere? Uh, it's like faded. It's like dotted. Dotted? It looks like blotchy, right? <sighs> Rinsed my hair. I'm gonna put my silk treatment leave-in conditioner. This stuff has also been a staple for me. I always find that between showers, I need to put my Olaplex 2 on for my damaged hair. And after showers, I have to use my 
uh, silk treatment. That way my hair doesn't snap when I do comb it out. And it also smells amazing. I noticed that while I was rinsing out my hair, the water did come out a little dark. It didn't come out black, but it came out dark. I feel like my hair looks more blotchy when it's wet. It'll probably look less crazy when it's dry. It's a girl. <laughs> the baby, everyone. How exciting. So it'll be two brothers and a little sister. After you finish this video, you should definitely watch the reveal video on our family channel, which will be linked right here and down below because I'm gonna upload a reveal vlog of the finding out process on our family channel at the same time as this video so it'll already be out by the time you watch this one i'm also probably gonna upload some like reaction videos for michael and galahad and zeke finding out on the family channel <sighs> all right my friends this is my hair <laughs> i think i did pretty decently i mean it does look like a melt like it doesn't look like roots it looks like melt right except blotches see it looks like a color melt right like it goes down you know what i mean i like it <laughs> except for blotches look more blotches and then i don't even want to know what the back looks like <laughs> Can you see? Are there blotches? Ha, 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 ha. Are there blotches? Let's see back here. It's not bad. It's my first time doing like any kind of shadow root or color melt. It has hints of blonde, hints of rose gold, hints of pink and hints of purple. It's kind of like, like a unicorn hair right now. So like the blotches are okay. I'm okay with that it's just a few and I can just easily fix that but I like it I'm super excited to have shared the news with you in this way I was trying to think of like a creative way to do it and thank you so much for your suggestions for those who had suggested something to do with like color come to our family channel I'll see you there too bye